Hello and welcome to the Hawks Nest for a very special preseason matchup. It's the Battle of the Hawks as we have the Indiana Crimson Hawks against the home Humber Hawks. I'm Andrew Milani alongside my broadcasting partner, Matt Caldwell. And Matt, what are you looking for during tonight's matchup? It's definitely going to be very interesting to see how both these teams stack up against one another. The Indiana team is a D2 school in the States, so we'll see. It's going to be a very tough match for Humber tonight. Yeah, absolutely. There are going to be no rollover tonight. Last year they were 19-2 in conference en route to winning their conference championship, the uh, Pennsylvania State Athletic uh, Conference. So we're going to see how these two teams stack up against each other tonight as this is going to be a great measuring stick game for the Humber Hawks. Oh, 100%. Hopefully they can get off to a little bit of an early start here. Yeah, IUP getting off to a quick 2-0 two, two start after that first possession. Humber working the ball around. Layup is good. Justice Salmon getting the scoring started for Humber tonight. That's what you like to see, good ball movement by everybody on the Humber side. All right, working up that teamwork. IUP working around, three-point attempt is up. Bounces off the back of the rim. They got the offensive rebound. Morris thought about shooting, it went inside, but that will go down as a traveling violation. Will be Hawks ball. And a chance for, here for Humber to take the, uh, the lead. Pass almost goes out of bound. O2 controls it, passes it off. That's Morgan with it. Off to Fauzi Muhammad looking for an outlet. Shot clock running down, under five seconds. Layup, no good. IUP with the, with the rebound and we'll get this in, away in transition. Layup attempt is no good. He's gonna go to the line. Yeah, Anthony White going to the line. First free throws of the game for either side. It's definitely good physical play there by Humber, but they do have to make sure that they're not too physical and not giving up too many fouls. Exactly, you don't want to run up that foul count too early in the quarter. Exactly. This IUP team losing two of their top scorers from last season, but Malik Miller was third in the team in scoring and it's more than capable of helping them through this season. White is two for two from the line. Indiana regaining the two point lead. Salmon passes it off to Kaskart. Kaskart to Morgan. Morgan with it, looking for the inside lane. Pass it off, runs over his defender. Nice transition pass by, by Indiana. We got our first dunk of the evening. Very nice outlet pass there by Indiana. Play going the way of Indiana there. They'll regain possession. And our first time out of the match taken by Humber. Yeah, I think uh, they definitely, I think they're just taking this to get a little bit their feet under themselves, make sure that nothing's getting too out of hand as it is only 6-2. Um, but that was an unfortunate their turnover there by Humber. Yeah, an unfortunate run of events there for the Humber Hawks. They don't want to let the score run up too quickly. They're going to, even though this is an exhibition game, they do want to stay in this one and kind of just build things around here, see how things go for the season. Definitely, it's all about staying competitive no matter who you're facing. And again, going up against a D2 team, you're not expected to win this game so much as just try and see if you can keep up with them as IUP, they've already shown their athleticism, their teamwork, and their length here. As a lot of these players are much taller than the Humber Hawks. Yeah, they definitely do have a little bit of a size advantage, but that doesn't necessarily mean everything. If Humber can stay quick, they make sure they don't have any too many mismatches in the defensive side. I think they could uh, stand a pretty good shot here of keeping uh, IPU off the board, or IUP off the board. IUP finished their timeout. Humber milking every second of theirs. We're about ready to get play underway. Every second counts. Exactly. Inbound play to Morris. Controls the ball at the key, passes it off. Ball goes to Jones. Pass it back, three-pointer is up, no good. 0-2 with the rebound, had to battle for that one. Passes it off to Morgan. 
Passes that one off. Back to Morgan, three-pointer is up and good. Spaloosh, that's what you like to see from the Humber Hawks in the offensive end. Yeah, great corner three there. And they're cutting this lead back down to one. IUP looking for a, re for a response here. Morris passed it off, three-point attempt, air ball. They get the ball back though. Back to Morris, three-pointer no good. It's a scramble, Humber needs to do a better job on these rebounds. White passed it off. Humphreys looking for a lane, can't get inside, pass it off, mid-range Jay, no good. Humber, hopefully to be able to take the lead with this possession. Yeah, nice pass there, Fauzi Muhammad denied inside though. IUP just barely keeping that one in bounds. Let's see what they could do here. Jones drives and kisses it right off the glass and in. Yeah, very nicely done. Very nice. Humber down by three. Fauzi Muhammad three pointer, no good. IUP will come back. White passes it off to Foster. Foster with his first touches of the game. Foster, a key contributor for the team last year. Looking for an inside lane, can't get it. Looks like he stepped out of bounds there. Yep. Ball will go back to the Humber Hawks. They've been looking a little shaky in the offensive side of the court, so hopefully they can start uh, figuring out their game and putting some balls in the baskets. Yeah, the IUP playing some tough defense there, but the three-pointer is good. Very nicely done by Muhammad. And we're back tied at eights. IUP looking to regain the lead here. Tightly contested game so far in the first quarter. White with it, looking for a lane. Traveling violation against IUP. Ball will go back to the Humber Hawks and we'll get to substitution here. Alex Patronis, import player for the Humber Hawks, getting his first time on the court this game. Muhammad passed it off. And that was a foul there. Kaskar was going to the hoop. And he'll get to two attempts from the line. Excuse me, that will be side out of bounds, or from the back, excuse me. Morgan with the jumper, and, that's and it's good. good. Very nicely done. That's what you like to see, getting on the boards, tying it up at eight. Taking the lead, rather. Oh, my Humber apologies. Ten, no worries there, Humber up 10-8 now. IUP trying to work the ball around here, looking for a response. Shot clock running low, six seconds left. Tried to get the ball inside, intercepted by the Hawks. That's O2 working it inside. Can't get the layup to go in though. Kaskar couldn't get to go either. O2 back with it. Good fight That's to keep the possession with the rebound. Humber sticking with it here. Slowing it down a little bit, he's gonna take the three. No good, IUP with the rebound. It's Jones carrying it up the floor, pass it inside. Nice layup there, Humphreys doing a good job to get open. And we're back tied up at 10. 0-2 looking for a lane, passed it off. Patronis up to, off to Fauzi Muhammad. Three-pointer is up. That hits the rim. And it's gonna stay Humber's ball. Good job there by Patronis to fight for that one. Kind of forcing Indiana to make a mistake on that one. Yeah, it's definitely the hustle you like to see from uh, players coming off the bench. Especially from a first-year player Gotta earn the respect to your teammates, and he's doing just that right here. Bowsy Muhammad back with it, pass it off. Nice pass to Bailey, first year player. Very nice pass there under the basket. 
Even though he's new to this team, already showing some great chemistry there with Fauzi Muhammad. Screen. Foster's gonna drive. Yeah, that was a nice screen set. Ball will go out of bounds. Will stay IUP ball. Even though it is IUP possession, that's definitely better defense there by Humber Hawks. Absolutely, playing that tight defense, trying to keep this one a close game. Shot clock to one. Shot is up, bounces off the rim. Nice hustle for that. That was Dylan Benton. They might get another shot here. Losing the ball was Dave Morris. Keeping it IUP though. Nice offensive rebound. Dylan Benton, Johnny on the spot there again that one. Those are his first two points of the night. We're back tied at 12. Wilson with it. Trying to find a lane, passes it off. Cronus passed it off. Cascard open three again. It's good. Spaloosh. Nothing but net there. And Humber takes a three point lead. IUP looking to respond. Morris calling to play here. Screen is set, goes inside. Pass it off. Three pointer is good. And one. Beautiful play there. Yeah, very nicely done. And a chance here for IUP to take a one point lead. And the rare four point play. Anthony White looks, looks very good so far tonight in this first quarter. You are not wrong, he's been all over the court. Free throw is up, rims no out. Humber with the rebound and up the court they go. Chance to take the lead here. And now go back the other way. IUP ball. Justice Sam in there cannot keep the ball in his hands. Yeah, it didn't look like he agreed with the call. Might have been looking for a finger or something that went off of off of IUP, but not to be there. IUP working around. Three pointers up and good. Very nicely done there. White with that corner three. He's proven to be quite dangerous. Absolutely. Couple three pointers already tonight for him. Patrona is trying to get inside. Nice job there. Friendly bounce off the rim. And Humber back within one. Foster has it. Pass it inside. Some nice playmaking there by IUP. They'll get fouled there. He'll take two free ones from the strike. And Justice Salmon not happy with that call. It's one you just gotta shake it off and move on. Can't let it bother you. Yeah, he's gotta roll with the punches here. As we mentioned before, just can't let those fouls build up, especially so early in the game. Yeah, the fouls early in the game are not good, especially with Humber. You know, even though they're only down by one, any lead is never a good one. Yeah. First free throw is good. Second free throw is good. IUP reestablishing a three point lead here. Bailey will inbound to Salmon. Passes it off there. Back to Salmon looking for the ball and looking for an inside lane. Bailey with it, almost loses it. IUP back with the ball, fast break opportunity here. Ulrich had it knocked out of his hands. Will stay IUP ball. Ulrich with looking for a teammate to pass it off to. Over to White. Three pointer is up, no good. Humble with the rebound. Salmons passes it off. 
Back. No good three pointer. Wilson with the rebound and off the glass and in. Very nice. Yeah, Trey, Trey Wilson. Wilson. Playing that perfectly, Trey Wilson. Right there for that rebound to gain that layup right away. And Humber is back within one. IUP trying to extend the lead here. Three pointer up and good. IUP up once again by four points. Humber's going to want to cut that lead immediately. No Bailey. Inside and good. Beautiful there. Just slicing his way through the defense. Cutting through like butter. Very nicely done. You like to see that aggressive attack to the basket. Especially by a first year player by no, like no Bailey. Another three pointer by White. He's been on fire so far in this one. Anthony White proving to be one to look out for on Humberside. Khalid Ismail fouled on the way to the basket, and he'll get two free shots here. IUP working that lead up to five now. Biggest lead they've had this game, biggest lead by any team. Yeah. Humber with the chance to cut down to three here. And Humber's done a very good job of keeping this game as close as they can so far. They have not looked out of place here. No, not at all. First free throw is good. Second free throw hits the net, and that is good. 46.9 seconds left to go in this quarter. IUP looking to extend their three-point lead. Humber trying to keep it within three here, playing tight defense. Nice screen set. Pass it off. Three-pointer up. No good. Out of bounds. Ball will go to Humber. 5.6 different shot clock, game clock. Humber trying to tie this one up here with a three-pointer. Bailey with it inside, nice move. Very nice play there by Salmon and Bailey to connect for two more points. We've seen another, a couple nice connections here again. An easy basket at the net. Nine seconds left to go in the quarter. IUP looking to, ex to extend the lead. Inside lane. Seconds. And it's good, and that will do it for the first quarter. IUP leads 28 to 25 over the Humber Hawks, but Matt, Humber did not look out of place in that first quarter. No, not at all. They started a little bit slow, but they did end up picking it up closer to the end of that second or first quarter, and uh, it is only a five-point game. So well done by Humber. I would take that as a win. Yeah, Coach Sampson Downey taking that first time out in the perfect position there. Doing an absolutely great job just getting his team back into this one and Humber's right back in it going into the second quarter. Yeah, and a couple of uh, you know newly recruited players in uh, Patronus and in uh, Bailey getting a couple of points for the squad. Troy Wilson to another first year player doing pretty well. Had a few points and did great with the ball movement there. Just some great teamwork we've seen so far by the Hawks. Yeah, the ball movement's been on point. They've been doing Pretty well with the passes. There's been a couple of little fumbles there uh, under the basket, but like I said, they did start cleaning it up there closer to the end of the quarter. Yeah, and of course, this is a preseason game, so you can't read too much into the lineups that Coach Downey's putting up there. Just trying to see who he has, who he can put in cer certain situations, but so far, Humber passing this test so far within three of the Indiana Crimson Hawks here at the Hawks Nest at Humber College. And I got to say, Anthony White on IUP, definitely the standout of that first quarter, nailing a few threes, getting a few points at the line. Yeah, as well as uh, Dave Morris doing a very good job there, a point guard controlling a, a lot of the play, getting things going for his squad there down in his end. Yeah, doing a great job of just distributing the ball, looking, knowing which teammates to pass to, and just doing a great job there. We're just about ready to get this second quarter underway. Humber already having their starting five out for this quarter. They're ready to get going, it's nice to see. They're anxious to get some points back on the board. Gotta love that. Yeah. They definitely do not want to lose, even though this is an exhibition game and Indiana is a D2 school. They are no slouch. 
And Humber still doesn't want to give up anything. They want to do the best they can to prove to uh, Indiana and to NCAA basketball teams that they are just as good. Absolutely. Of course, those bragging rights that come with beating a D2 school, not bad either. Oh, you're not wrong on that. But this one far from over, right to start the second quarter here. IUP 28, Humber 25. Jones with the inbound and Morris back in control for his team. Yeah, familiar look for this IUP team. Morris looking for a screen or something there. Good double team by Humber. Foul there. This Cascart would have been away to the races there. Yeah, that's too bad there that the, the foul happened. The, it was a very nice double team there on uh, Morris and they caused a turnover. Yeah, perfect double team there. And a smart team foul there taken by IUP, cutting out that transition game. Getting his own rebound was Jalen Morgan, scoring at two points to get this back within one. Very nicely done there with the spin to win. O2 guarding there. Open three point look, no good. Humber able to corral the rebound. Yeah, Kaskart getting that one, pass it off. Back to Kaskart, yeah. open three. He's fouled on that one. He will take three from the charity stripe. As he was run over by Chucky Humphreys. As the two opponents uh, help each other up. That's what you like to see. Great amount of sportsmanship there. Of course, just preseason match. Not too much on the line yeah, here. There's, there's no bad blood between these two teams. This is just a friendly affair, if you do say so myself. The soccer term there, friendly. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't soccer, though. This is basketball. We're on the hard court. And the first three throw will not make it. It's got two more. This one for the tie. He makes it. And Daquan, Daquan Kaskar with the chance to give Humber the lead here. First lead of the night, hopefully. And it's and gonna it's trickle good. in, very nicely done. A little bit of a friendly bounce there off the rim, giving Humber a one point lead. Now it's time to tighten up that defense and keep it. And hopefully build off of it. Nice ball movement here by IUP. Morris can't get that inside pass away, but gets it right back. Beautiful steal for the dunk there. And the jam. Chucky Humphreys. Not yeah. what Humber wanted there. No, not at all. They got their own turnover, and then they turned it over themselves. Got to keep those passes short and crisp. I think we're trying to be, trying to do a little too much on that play before. And Indiana back up by one here as Humber again fails to convert on an, on an offensive possession. Yeah, they're having a little bit of trouble with some of these passes here at the start of the second quarter. Foster playing point guard here, over to Morris. Foster, open three, that's good. Can't leave players wide open like that at the top of the You're arc. exactly right, you can't leave them open and let them do whatever they want, really. Especially we saw during shoot around, these IUP players just nailing shot after shot after shot. You're not wrong, they do not mess around. Morgan tried to go up there. He's gonna take foul. Immediately looked at the ref for the foul call and, and got it. Jalen Morgan, last year's team leader in points per game and three-pointers. Shot almost 50% from three-point land last year. And I do believe he was the MVP of the team last year. With, yeah, being a leader in points and three-point uh, three percentage. Second free throw won't go in for the fifth-year player. Morris carries the ball up the court. Quick move, found a lane, couldn't get the re couldn't get a shot, but was fouled on the way there. It's gonna go to the line for two. Humber's gotta be careful here. 
IUP looks like they're starting to run away with things here in the second quarter, although the game is still close. Yeah, like we said earlier, Humber's got to stay away from fouling this team, especially, you know, being so early in the game. They got to keep IP, IUP off of the charity stripe. They got to watch those turnovers here. Those have been costly so far in this one. Jalen Morgan passed it off to 0-2. 0 2 looking for a lane, but loses it. Will stay Humber ball. Morgan with it, looking for a lane. Nice move, puts it up, no good. But he was fouled. I believe that was a defensive foul on Ro uh, Foster, excuse me. Foul not on the shot. Muhammad passes it to 2 to Morgan. Back to Muhammad, looking for a lane. Back to Morgan, thought about shooting it, but he traveled on that one. Ball will go back to IUP. We talked about those turnovers before, another one there that could put Humber back within a few points and another opportunity squandered there. Three pointer up, no good. O2 with the rebound, he just flew up there to get that one. Again with the turnover, couldn't get that one to go. Yeah, these turnovers are really starting to bite Humber here. Foster with it, guarded by O2, passes it off to White. Passes it. Foul there. Humphreys was trying to go to the basket. And he will shoot two here. Chance for IUP to extend this lead even further. I believe to the largest lead of the night. You're right there, Matt. First shot by Humphreys is good. Humphreys having a quiet but very good game tonight. Hasn't done too, too, too much, but when he has gotten the ball, he has looked impressive. Yeah, he's made his touches count, that's for sure. Misses his second shot there. Kaskart with it. Pass that to Morgan. And again, yeah, more Pat turnovers. Patronus couldn't get his hands on that ball. That one goes out of bounds. Ball back to IUP. Humber starting to look a little frustrated out there. Foster calling for a play, pass it off. Humphreys with it, back to Foster. Three pointer is up. No good. Good rebound there by Patronus. Nice pass there to 2 Thought about shooting it, tried to go inside, couldn't do it. Back to Patronus, inside, that's good. Very nicely done. A nice, hard, aggressive drive to the basket and gently off the glass. Beautiful. And a, and a much needed basket there for the Hawks. Still down by four points, they need to stop here. White passes it off to Humphreys. Good defense there by Morgan. Three-pointer up, no good. O2 was fighting for that rebound. Got it, but ran out of bounds and will go back to IUP. Smallest guy on the court, but he's doing a very good job fighting for those rebounds. Definitely doesn't play like the smallest guy on the court. No, you are right there. He's got springs in those shoes. He can jump higher than anybody out there. Timeout here taken. 6.21 remaining in the second quarter. I think this is a very needed timeout here for Humber. They're starting to look a little bit frustrated, maybe a little bit tired, throwing the ball around a little bit, not really able to get their feet under them in the offensive side of the court. Yeah, the, certainly not looking as confident as they were in that first quarter and seeing them turn that ball over a lot more. A lot of just passes just going wide left, wide right, what have you, but just got focused on keeping short passes and just focus on a game plan, playing some tight defense. Only down by four points, this, is, this game is still definitely within reach. Yeah, good point there. They do have to make sure they are staying solid on defense, making sure they're filling those cracks in the wall. And uh, even though they have been turning the ball over, 
they have been doing a very good job to save themselves in the defensive zone. Yeah, that defense has certainly been bailing them out a few times here tonight as the timeout is just about ready to wind down. Umber retaking the court as does IUP. Still IUP ball after Kevin O2 ran that ball out of bounds accidentally. Foster with it, playing at the point. Looking for a pass, pass it off to Benton there. Inside to Humphreys, pass it out. Nice mid-range J there by Foster. And we're back to a six point lead for IUP. Mohammed with it. Oh, nice pass there. But a big block there as Salmon couldn't get that drive to go. Foul taken there by the Hawks. Will stay IUP ball. Both these teams racking up the fouls here in the second quarter. IUP have four team fouls, Humber at three. Foster with it. Looking for a lane. Pass it off to Humphreys. Three pointer is up and good. Beautiful. Corner three there by Humphreys. Cascart with it. Tries to fight his way through traffic. Can't get it to go. But he was fouled there and will get to shoot two point two shots from the line. Yeah, it was a good another good aggressive drive there by Humber. Just unfortunate it wasn't able to get the friendly bounce and find its way in the hole. A little bit of a dangerous play there by Kaskar, jumping into traffic. A little lucky that I got fouled there, to be honest. I, th I, I think at least. Yeah, but what's risk without reward, right? Certainly worked here. First free throw is good. Humber cutting that lead down to eight. Second gets an unfriendly bounce. Patronus didn't agree with that foul call. Yeah, I didn't see the foul there either. Looked like a couple guys just fighting for the ball. Yeah, but another one of those times where you just got to shake it off and don't let it bother you. You got to continue playing the game. Well, it looks like the refs are having a discussion about that call. Yeah, from our angle here, it didn't look like it was uh, too much of a foul. But with the different angles that the refs have, they could have saw something different. And we'll see what happens here. We should mention now that Humber is in the bonus, so that foul went to IUP here, it went the other way. And Patronus will go to the line for two shots. So in the end, it worked out in Humber's favor. And every foul on the floor here taken by IUP now will lead to Humber free throws. Yeah, anytime you can get those extra shots from the charity stripe, you're going to take them. Yeah. First shot, no good by Patronus. And that's one thing that I've seen actually quite a bit from uh, the Humber players is they're not making all of their free throws. You definitely like to see them make two of two, but the missed free throws are definitely starting to add up. You're absolutely right there, Matt. Foster looking for a lane. Fighting through the defense, gets in, and that's good. Beautiful individual effort there by Armoni Foster. Fauzi Muhammad with it. Looking for a lane on Foster. Tried to get the pass there to Bailey. And wasn't able to connect, though. 
Sampson down, he's saying that ball was deflected. Should have been Humber ball. Refs don't agree though. Just under five minutes left to go in the second quarter. IUP leading 43-34. Humber back with it. Patron has passed it off. Three point attempts, no good. Almost went right back to Trey Wilson. And a turnover there by IUP. Patronus with the ball. Time here for Humber to take advantage of a turnover. Just barely getting it back. Patronus passing it off to Trey Wilson. Back to Patronus. Looking for a man here. No Bailey inside. Can't get it to go. Now IUP coming back. Fast break opportunity here. Good job by Humber to slow things down. Shot no good. IUP with the rebound. And fouled on his way to the rim was Dylan Benton. The chance here to extend this IUP lead up to 11. Again, Humber taking unnecessary fouls. They gotta try to stay, keep IUP away from the charity stripe as this lead is starting to extend. The timeout taken here. And Matt, what do you think the message here from Coach Sampson Downey to his team is here during this timeout? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I think definitely they need to get their feet under them a little bit more. They need to take a breath and just slow it down a little bit. I think they're rushing just a little bit too much and throwing the ball away. Those turnovers are, like we said, starting to bite Humber a little bit as this lead is starting to extend. So hopefully they can keep the ball out of IUP's hands. Yeah, we're really starting to see IUP really establish their dominance here. That D2, the really see the difference here between Ontario College School and NCAA Division II where just so much money is being pumped in. Again, the length, the scouting, everything. But Humber's been doing a good job keeping up with them. Just yeah. a few of those plays they gotta work on. It's definitely a, been a very good battle so far. Humber is not looking like a slouch, that is for sure. Timeout is over. As we have four minutes remaining in this second quarter and this first half here. As it's gonna be two from the line for Benton. Benton hasn't seen too much of the floor this evening, but like a lot of these IUP players, looks pretty good tonight. First shot is good. Yeah, for the minimal amount of touches that some of these players are getting, they certainly are looking very good. And Almost IUP. in midseason form. Almost. And IUP, just like Humber, this is just a preseason game, so looking in for a little bit of experimentation, seeing what situations and what lineups they could use. Yeah, seeing what works and what doesn't. Exactly. Patron has passed it off to Bailey. Bailey looking for someone. It's Trey Wilson off to Fauzi Muhammad. That one to Salman. Down to look for the inside lane. Jumper is up and good. Nicely done there to stop and slow down a little bit and take that easy shot. It wasn't really contested all that much by the IUP defense. Yeah, Salman doing a good job kind of making his own uh, space there for that yeah. shot as Morris is gonna throw the ball away. Yeah, a bit of a sloppy pass there by Morris and ball will go back to the Hawks. Chance to cut this lead down to six. Wilson with it. Pass it off to 2 Bailey with it. Over to Salmon. Tough play, can't get it to go. Fighting for their for the rebound there, couldn't get it though. IUP coming back. Morris Good denied block inside. Very nice block there by, I think it was O2 who got his hand on the ball there. Nice to see when someone going to the net, you get those, all those players kind of combining there in, right by the rim to prevent that one. Great defense there by the Hawks. And a good job to not draw the foul as well. Tough shot there by Jones, couldn't get to go. Trey Wilson's gonna come down with a rebound. Comes up the court, pass off to Bailey under the basket. Back to Wilson. Three point attempt by Morgan, no good. 
And a good try there by O2 for that rebound, flying for that ball. O2, not the biggest guy as we said before, but he's got to love the compete uh, effort from him. Hustle and heart, that's where it's at. IUP trying to work the ball around, can't get it. I believe that went off of Morgan. That right. pass a little out of reach for O2. Nice try there by Noel Bailey. Couldn't get to go. Yeah, trying to look for that long stretch outlet pass, but uh, just out of his reach. Two and a half minutes left to go in the second quarter. IUP leading 45-36. Working the ball around, around well here. White with it. Three-pointer up, no good. O2 with the rebound. Whistle there, traveling violation, another turnover there by the Hawks. Ball will go back to Indiana. Yeah, even though there was a turnover there, that's still a good effort by Humber to get the ball quickly up the court, and try to get balls in the basket to uh, try to diminish this lead that IUP has built up. Three-pointer, no good. Bailey with the rebound, pass it off. Morgan with it, looking for the inside lane. Can't get it to go. Looked like he had a sure layup there. Morris to White, inside. Can't get that one to go either. Humber with the rebound. Back and forth right now here. Trey Wilson, nice basket there to finish off that set of plays. Very nicely done on the uh, odd, odd man rush break. Humber back within seven here. Humphreys with it, pump fake there. White with the three, no good, but he was, I believe he was fouled on that one. He's fouled in the act of shooting. He is going to go to the free throw line. That's got to be something that Humber works on going to the regular season. Can't be fouling players on those three-point attempts. That could be costly. Timeout taken here by the Hawks. Yeah, I think this is definitely a good timeout here especially after a bad foul like that one. Yeah, just to, you know, slow down, everybody catch their breath, and uh, start to sharpen up their defense a little bit. Now, that last little uh, series of plays there, Humber looked pretty good. Uh, they were down by 11 at one point. They cut the lead down, back down to seven, so it's been there. Uh, they've really been establishing the play here the last few bits, but IUP is still in, the, in command of this one. Yeah, Humber is doing a very good job to chip away at the score as best they can. But IUP also doing a good job of keeping Humber off the score sheet as much as they can. And again, Humber's just got to watch those turnovers. They've been quite costly here. That could do wonders for their defense, especially uh, as they go and get ready to finish up the first half and go into the second half later on. Yeah, especially they can't be turning over the ball in the offensive side of the court. They've got to do the best they can to try to, again, chip away at this lead. Anthony White makes his way to the line. Will shoot his first of three free throw attempts here after getting fouled from beyond the arc. Yeah, with a very good first quarter, he's been a little quiet here in the second. First free throw is good. White makes the second, and a chance here to extend the IUP lead up to 10. That one's good as well. IUP leading Humber 48 to 38, with just under a minute and a half left to go in the first half. Jalen Morgan gets the first touch here. He's gonna go hard to the basket, and he's gonna be fouled. He's going to the line for two. A great job there by Jalen Morgan. Just really create his own uh, scoring attempt there. Scoring chance and eventually working his way to the free throw line. Yeah, you definitely like to see them attacking that basket more. First shot is good. Man, nice sound there as it went through the basket. 
Jalen Morgan doing everything he can to keep the Humber Hawks within eight. Was last year's leading scorer and should be the team's leading scorer this year again. IUP having trouble holding on to it, but they keep it. Jones with it. Humphreys inside. He's Friendly bounce there. Go. Very nice. 0 2 with it. Pass it off to Trey Wilson. Wilson to Morgan. Back to 0 2. 0 2 trying to work his way inside. Puts the ball off an IUP defender. We'll stay Humber ball. Try to figure out how much time was left on the shot clock. Timekeepers decide that seven seconds, or 7.8 seconds, excuse me. Morgan with it, passes it off. Bailey looking for a lane. Gets Very that one nice. to go. Very nice move indeed. A little bit of a circus layup there. 11 second difference, shot clock, game clock. Nice move there by Morris. Yeah, it was a very good pivot to the inside there. Humber with the chance to respond here. Trey Wilson, three-pointer up, no good. Can't get the rebound. IUP with the fast break opportunity here. Benton went up for the layup, but got fouled hard. I believe that was on Jalen Morgan. And yeah, Jalen Morgan flying in there just a little bit too hot. Not a bad foul to take, though, as he makes Benton earn it from the line. 12.8 seconds left to go in the first half. IUP leading Humber 52-42 and a chance for Indiana to extend their lead up to 12 with two free throws here. First free throw is good by Benton. Second shot rattles in. 12 seconds left, Humber with a chance here to respond. Working the ball around, Trey Wilson with it. Try to cut that lead back to 10 before the half is out. Salmon tried to get away, but was batted off. Prayer shot up by Dylan Benson, won't go. And IUP will enter halftime with a 12 point lead of 54-42 against the Humber Hawks. Yeah, as good of a half as that was, uh, the, definitely the turnovers were the big story of that for Humber's side. They definitely have to do a better job of keeping the ball in their hands and in control so they can put the ball in the basket. Costly turnover is definitely the story of that first half. And Humber will need to work on that as they go into the dressing room. And we'll discuss their game plan for the second half. IUP looking good in this one.
Welcome back to some second half action here on the Hawk Sports Network between the NCAA Division II IUP Crimson Hawks against the reigning CCAA bronze medalist Humber Hawks. Pretty entertaining first half there with my broadcasting partner Brendan Nichols and Brendan a pretty tight score. Absolutely. Uh, I'll admit I'm a little surprised that Humber has held its own but it's been a fierce competition, and there have been many highlights that we'll be looking back on uh, very happily over the next couple weeks. Absolutely. Samson Downey and these Humber Hawks welcoming him in a really strong program at IUP, going 30-3 and overall last year, going 11-1 and on the road. So not an easy test this preseason going up against the Crimson Hawks. All set to get things started here, Kevin 0-2. 0-2 coming into his second season with the squad, big part as a first year last year. Driving hard to the hoops right off the bat, that's tipped away by Kaskar. 12 point spread for the Crimson Hawks. 
Strong showing in the first half, but can't shake the tenacity of Humber. Hand to the face there, no call. Kicking it back outside is Morris. That won't draw for him, and the Hawks will work their way back. That one wouldn't go for 0-2. He's been busy on in second half. Out top, it's Morris once again. Morris on the perimeter, being guarded by Fauzi. Over the back it goes, working hard against Salmon. Chucky Humphreys earned his way to the line. Inbound coming here from Sean Dale Jones. Morris, who's held the rock for a good majority of this second half for IUP. He's going to drive, going up against three Hawks there. Nothing doing. Khalid Ismail won't get rewarded for that hustle. IUP the other way. That pass intercepted. Ismail put him down for two. Apologies, that's Kevin O2 working hard to the basket there. Brendan, Kevin O2's been buzzing around the floor early on in half number two. Certainly has. That one will clang out there for Kevin. Trying to work its way low, that perimeter offense for the Hawks, trying to dial something up here. Humphreys now with it. Going to have to put something up. That one off the front of the rim, but rebound corralled by the Hawks. Crimson, that is, and going the other way are the Hawks of Humber. Fauzi thought about shooting it there, thinks otherwise. Nice ball movement here by the Hawks down to the baseline. Taquan Cascart showing off the acrobatics, getting up there, and he earned his way to the charity stripe. And as uh, as we start this third quarter, Adam, I'm noticing that the the Humber Hawks are having a lot of trouble scoring at the moment. Yeah, some tough D coming the way of the Crimson Hawks. Hawks scoring in the 40s for that first half, but. This offense with just two seniors graduating last year is stocked full of firepower. That one knocked out of bounds. The, the disbelief of Justice Salmon. Salmon with it now, 10 on the shot clock. Here's Fauzi, gonna put it up for three. No good. Fauzi, not afraid of shooting from beyond the arc. He led the team in three-point attempts last year. Big part of this Humber offense. Here's Morris with a nice bounce pass, and that'll skip, rattle, and roll away from number five, Anthony White. We've been seeing uh, the Crimson Hawks be rather successful with their fakeouts, with the exception of that last play. Crafty group are these Crimson Hawks under head coach Joe Lombardi. He's been with the program since 06. Is the coach's name really Joe Lombardi? You better believe it. More of a football name, but he seems to be pretty proficient on the basketball court. From the corner, that one in and out from Jalen Morgan. Some nice defense shown there by Alex Patronis. He's a big contribution to this team. He's started out his career at Dalhousie and worked his way to George Brown before coming to Humber, a Toronto native himself. Fauzi with speed. Morgan driving hard and nothing will stop him there. Jalen's got himself a pair.
Shondale Jones looking for help from a teammate. He'll find Morris. This Hawks defense starting to flex its muscles. See the ball go off the toe there of Fauzi, and he'll be on the inbound. So IUP, plenty of offensive success early on, but tightening down the hatches are these Humber Hawks. Morgan knocked down on that three-point attempt, and it'll come the other way. Morris all by himself, kicks it out to Jones. Nice spin move, stole by Patronis. That pass out of the reach of the very speedy Fauzi Muhammad. Slowing things down here, Armani Foster. Holding foul on white number four. That's the aforementioned Alex Patronis. Six foot four shooting guard. When you think of a team with not many strengths, or sorry, not many weaknesses, that is. He's a big strength to add to the stat sheet. From the top of the key, that's good. Dave Morris. Crimson Hawks are just so fast at setting up what they need to do to get those shots off. Very, very efficient are these IUP Crimson Hawks. Humber maybe trying to work their way into midseason form there as Jalen Morgan gets that one knocked away. You want to talk about major players on this team, how about Jalen Morgan? Averaged over 16 points a game last season, almost shooting 50% beyond the arc. And how about that? Right on cue, a little turnaround fadeaway. Jalen Morgan feeling himself here in quarter number three. And that pass will find nothing but Humber legs. And we've been seeing that strategy from on both sides throughout this whole game where uh, when they know they can't make the shot, they just throw it at the legs in order to make sure that they still retain possession. Yeah, some crafty maneuver in trying to gain possession. You're right, Brendan. By the way, the Hawks, just really a high IQ basketball team by the looks of it. A lot of that goes to the coach, and as that one bounces out, Sean Ulrich couldn't get that floater to go. Working the perimeter, our Humber. Patronis working his way in, and that one will clang off the front bit of the rim. Foster at midcourt. Ulrich now. Some contact inside, but no whistle blown. And big time on the re rebound, Sean Ulrich. That reach is nasty. Yeah, tough to defend that type of length. Strong player for the paint. Jalen Morgan now working that baseline, trying to kick it out. It'll go the way of IUP. Stepping on the baseline is Jalen Morgan. 4.37 to go in this one. Talked a little bit about the coaching from Joe Lombardi for IUP. He led them to the 2010 NCAA Division II runner-up, nearly Division II national champions. And for his credit, he came home with the Basketball Times National D2 Coach of the Year. So quite a resume for Joe Lombardi coming into the Hawks' nest. Shot from Morris won't go, and now there's a loose ball battle. It's won by the Crimson Hawks. Working his way in all by himself, Armani Foster. That's an impressive play. Hoop and the harm for Foster. Just as it was at half, a 12-point lead, now 13. As Noel Bailey will take this one over half court. Patronis with a head fake. Ooh. Trying to get that spin move, and that's up and in. That was gross. Pretty, pretty play to watch as I got Samson Downey and the coaching staff up in 
animated over there on the side. Downey with a little bit of discussion here for the referee, trying to get some clarification. Thumbs up from the ref, and it's time for Alex Patronis to have a go. Anthony White. The interior of this Hawks D holding strong. Patronis got a hand on that. Possession will go the way of the Hawks. So here's Noel Bailey on the inbound, a fresh face to this Humber Hawks program. As we mentioned before, just two seniors graduating from the squad last year, Kerwin Elvis and Jordan Rose. Obviously two very strong players to miss in your lineup, but the amount of talent returning for Samson Downey has got to bring a lot of hope to this squad. You can really see the symmetry between the Humber Hawks. Yes, I mean, Samson. Sorry, Samson did a great job of kind of really putting his plan in action last year, and the players bought in. Led them to a lot of success last year. You can always tell the difference between good players and good players who play together. Absolutely. And luckily for the Hawks, they have both. Pretty good place to be in if you're Downey and the coaching staff. Silver medal last year in the OCAA championships and then taking home bronze in the national championships out in Langley, BC. If you're a fan of national championship basketball, that tournament's coming right here to Etobicoke inside the Hawks Nest in 2020. So you can come check out the best of the best on the national stage. Kicking it outside. That three is good off the hands of Shondale Jones. And IUP has been very consistent with those threes tonight. Absolutely. Very sm smart on that shot selection. And when they get an open look, it's dropping. And there's a bucket for the Hops. For the Hawks as Patronis finds his way to the hoop. Shondale Jones slowing the pace. Crimson Hawks moving all over the floor. It's another three from number three. And that's good as well, Armani Foster. Impressive showing from him. Here's Patronis, that shot won't drop. Battle on the inbounds. The referee says it just squeaked out the line. 2.34. Here to go at the Hawks Nest, quarter number three. NCAA Division II, Indiana University of Pennsylvania against the OCAA Humber Hawks in what's been a very, very entertaining matchup. Foster with it once again, dishes it inside. And how about that from Chucky Humphreys? That was pretty to watch. I saw two hands on that ball, Adam. <laughs> Got to keep it safe and secure. Kevin 02 working now, and he takes some contact. And that won't be missed by the referee. 02 will go to the line for two. O2 last year as a first year contributor, about as important as a First year player could be. Really was a star, averaged just under 13 points and was named a OCAA Championship All-Star last season. So a lot of potential and a lot to grow on for Kevin O2. And a smooth stroke from Kevin will put attempt number two through. Foster weaving his way in into the paint and 
once again, Armani Foster making the Hawks pay. Jalen Morgan gives that one away, but able to corral it. Going for the two-handed slam is Khalid Ismail, but plenty of contact by the rim. Exciting play there, driving hard to the basket. A lot of times that will get rewarded. It did just that for Ismail. Another point on the board, 55th of the night for the Hawks. Here's Foster, who's been a pain in the side the last few minutes for these Hawks. Great ball movement here. That one loops in and around. Few attempts there, trying to save the ball. A chaotic play here. And two Crimson Hawks are down. It looks as though a Humber player, I can't quite see who that is yet, is a little shaken up on the play. That was a flying of limbs, Adam. That was, yeah, Brendan, that was a chaotic, uh, bodies flying everywhere. We've seen a few uh, inbound attempts here on the far side of the court. and On the other side, that fast break, may have been an elbow or an arm. Catching the face of Dekon Kaskar. After all that, Daquan is up with a big smile on his face, and he looks ready for his free throw attempts. Scary sight in the preseason. Kaskar is going to be a crucial member of this lineup if Humber wants to contend both provincially and nationally. Lead at 13 has stayed pretty consistent here in this second half. Neither team able to gain some grounds. Nice moves there. Interception all alone. Kevin 0-2. And that gets this Humber faithful up and rowdy. Nice one-handed slam from Kevin 0-2. I thought he was going to break the backboard. <laughs> Far side now to Foster. As they've done all night, Crimson Hawks in no rush. Looking for the right look. Is it that one? No. That one bounces in and around. Bailey now with it. Battle at the rim. It's IUP who comes away with it. Kaskar once again buzzing around that hoop. He's really flashed in these past couple minutes. Samson barking orders, trying to get a press here. Plenty of time for these Hawks to work. From the corner, Armani Foster. It's been an absolute headache for Humber. Jalen Morgan almost closed out quarter number three with a big bucket, but as we stand, a 14-point lead for Indiana U. I have to say, Adam, uh, Foster continues to be a pain in the side of Humber. I mean, what was the success rate on those threes, like 80%? Yeah, he was definitely up there uh, efficiency-wise and attacking from all over. Mostly we've seen him work in the perimeter there, Foster, but seen him dart inside into the interior and drain some nice layups. I've also noticed Morris on uh, the Crimson Hawks is very efficient and moving the ball into the paint. Maybe not necessarily scoring off of it, but at least getting it to a teammate who can get something done. Yeah, never an easy job when you're trying to get tight into the hoop like that, especially against a Humber team who's known for that big body, tenacious interior defense. But IUP showing the strengths that they have both on the perimeter and inside, able to put up 74 points already. And that's just at the conclusion of the third quarter. I, I would argue Humber's biggest problem is they can't challenge on the perimeter. It's inside. Uh, 
they have enough bodies that they can do something. But it's on the outside where they can just wait and take their time to just continually sink threes. Yeah, it seems as though Humber, whenever they had that momentum kind of creeping back on their side, it would be someone like Morris, would be someone like Foster. It just came back the other way and drained a big shot. That could be a little bit demoralizing here. Obviously, a W is not the end-all, be-all in an exhibition contest. It's all about growth and learning as a team, but you got to think of the back of their players' minds. They're keeping an eye on this scoreboard. The comeback kids from last year are still on this roster, and I'm sure they'd like to take a little run here. Undoubtedly, Adam. Looks as though we're about ready to get action underway here. Fourth quarter action. Morrison Foster once again, the tag team for three. No good, off the front part of the rim, tipped away. Trying to get on the inside, but that's the quick feed of Kevin O2 that'll pull that one off the baseline. Nice work to get in front of that pass there as IUP's got numbers. And they got a trip to the foul line. Nice work there from Chucky Humphreys. Not many returning players for these Crimson Hawks and Chucky Humphreys is gonna take a big leap this year. Played in 31 games last year, but never earned the start. Trying to fight his way to a starting spot here. Chucky will extend the lead to 15. Fauzi, fast as always, gets it out to 02. Jalen Morgan. Spin move, and it's up and in. Jalen Morgan showing what he brings to the table. Humber loves those spin moves. And they're working to success tonight. Looking for the answer are the Crimson Hawks. That mid-range jumper is good. Shondale Jones. Whose foul is he going to look to here? Got Cascard out front. It'll go to Jalen instead. Jalen Morgan misses from three. And it's Jones the other way, working against Kevin 02. Gets the better of him, and that reverse layup was something to see. Delay of game warning against the Crimson Hawks here. I believe that's on the bench. A little too rowdy after that big play. Can't blame him, it was pretty impressive. Yeah, you like to see your teammates getting involved, but just a hair over the line where IUP there is Cascart takes a heck of a lot of contact trying to find his way to the rim. Cascart, a major Cog in the Humber machine last year, averaging 15 points a game. They expect that and more this year. Normally I'd say in an exhibition game that uh, Samson would want to be training up his newer players, but I think he's got most of his uh, top years, fourth and fifth years out on the court today. And O2, who's also known as uh, a valuable shooter. Absolutely, yeah, that's a good point, Brendan. It's like you mentioned, exhibition games, a lot of times you see maybe some of the new recruits, some of the new people trying to work their way into lineups, but maybe it's the level of competition having the Crimson Hawks come into town that Samson wanted his best guys to go against their best. And speaking of best, how about Foster? Training at another one. Taquan Kaskar. Kevin 02, no good. Armani Foster with it now, behind the back. From the corner of three attempts. That one will clang out. Here's Salmon. 
Working hard to the basket, but can't get it to go. It's Foster once again. That bounce pass finds nobody but Fauzi. Justice Salmon makes that a smooth two. Chucky Humphreys. He shined a few times in tonight's contest. Foster again for three. Plenty of contact from Jalen Morgan. He'll earn his way to the line. Jalen Morgan really rushing out to cover that perimeter shooter. And a big fella like that, that's a lot of head of steam to try to stop. Oh, I don't want to get in his way, no. No, thank you. So after being assessed the foul, Jalen Morgan will go over and dap up the coaching staff and take a breather. That one clangs out. Foster has seen really most of his shots drop tonight. Seventy-four percent free throw shooter. He'll make one of two. Bowsey who's had the first touch on most of these possessions. It's Patronus back in the game, driving hard, high off the glass, and that'll go. Patronus can jump shockingly high. Yeah, you would want to talk about bounce. I mean, Alex Patronus has showed it off in spades. You look at the roster and you see shooting guard, you think he may just be a catch and shoot type of guy, but showing off the athleticism here. He'll miss his free throw attempt and it'll come back for Foster. Yet another three, yet another three made. Foster is tearing the Hawks apart. So effortlessly. Making it look easy. Daquan Cascard, shimmying and shuffling. Gets the ball back and puts it in. That's nothing but a hard work bucket for Daquan Kaskar. Even in a 20 point deficit, Kaskar not letting the loose ball get out of his sight. You saw Humphreys giving him props there. He thought that was funny. Yeah, getting a good laugh in. I mean, exhibition basketball, you could have a little fun. Likely this will be the only time these players will go up against each other. A unique opportunity to go up against some fresh faces. Foster has been money as of late. Loses the handle there. Shondale Jones looking for a pick and he'll find one. It's the corner. It's Foster. It's no good. Shondale Jones on the rebound. That one's out as well. Possession remains with the Crimson Hawks. And if you're the Hawks, Brendan, I think the game plan is just get the ball out of Foster's hands. No kidding. Whoa. Oh. I believed in him. Wow, the bench sure wanted that one. You see him bouncing behind. And Foster, who's just taken over this game, was trying to make a statement there. And I'll say he maybe came about six inches short. But there were some bad intentions on the end of that arm. Foster gets his own rebounds and put him down for another two. He's half the team. Sure seems like it at this point, a one-man wrecking crew. Shondale Jones been more of a distributor in this game. They're gonna ride the hot hand and why not? It's Foster. Jones now. Back of the defender up. Patronis with the rebounds. 
Loses the handle. Anthony White now with it. Jones once again trying to get it inside. He does. Turning some fancy footwork from Sean Ulrich. He doesn't have to jump. He just have to move, move his arm a little bit. Yeah, when you're that tall and you have that type of reach and that type of athleticism working under the hoop, you sure can make it look easy. Several times this evening, I've seen him just do very slight touches just to confirm the basket time and time and time again. Yeah, years and years of practice, but it sure helps uh, having a few inches over the competition. Absolutely. Pause in the action here as the coaching staff will talk this over. And either side, Joe Lombardi for IUP or Samson Downey for Humber, you can't be too discouraged. I mean, it's been some well-played basketball. Obviously, some shots missed on the side of Humber. But all in all, it's been entertaining, fast-paced basketball. And I'm sure that's exactly the type of practice and conditioning that both these head coaches want to see. I'd absolutely have to agree, Adam. Uh, Humber's been putting in uh, as much work as the Crimson Hawks. And frankly, like the gap hasn't even really been a thing until this quarter. Yeah, we were at 12 points at the half, that gap we were talking about. And it maintained, I believe, around 13 after the third quarter and starting to get a little out of hand now. But, I mean, really, it's the hot hand of Foster that's got this one out of out of whack, at least for the Humber Hawks. Undeniably. Those threes, they're not e most of the time, they're not even bouncing off anything. They're just swooshing right oh, in. Oh, they add up quick. That's a good shot. No glass needed, no rims needed. It's been nothing but net for Foster in the last 20 minutes or so. Here's Noel Bailey finding Jalen Morgan. Here's Jalen. He went up, but the ball didn't come with him. A little discussion here with the referee. It's white basketball. Lead Ismail on the inbound. Jalen from the corner. And that's good, beating out the shot clock, had 1.7 seconds, and he used every bit of it. Shondale Jones. Hard to the hoop. And that one just rims out. He's earned himself a couple free shots. Getting some praise there from Joe Lombardi, the 2010 Basketball Times National D2 Coach of the Year. No mistake on free throw number one. The lead now up to 21. Just under five minutes to go in this contest. Scoreboard not doing justice how good of a game this really has been. This mile out to the corner. Jalen thought about it and thought about it a little too much as the referee saw enough to call a travel. That pump fake from Jalen Morgan maybe got a little happy with those feet. Dave Morris here finds the pick. Working against Bailey. Nice pass there. And how about the move from Ulrich? That's pretty, pretty basketball from the Crimson Hawks. Shot put up from three. That one will bounce around no good from Trey Wilson. Morris going for three, that's high off the glass and out. White basketball.
Trey Wilson, another one of those fresh faces to this Humber squad, looking to make his contribution. Just lips out on that one there. Interception here from Ismail. He's got Wilson in front of him. He'll lay it up and in, Trey Wilson. This patient offense of IUP, they just sit back and wait for their time to attack. And there it is again, Allrich right over top of Noel Bailey. Giving him the stare down. A little bit there, and the IUP bench is sure liking that. And there you go, a little something for the home crowd, Khalid Ismail. Call and response. Absolutely with the big two-hander. Ulrich, who's been a force on the inside, calling his man Shondale Jones, and he'll sink that one. 101, the points for the Crimson Hawks, breaking the century mark here. As Jalen Morgan battled his way in. 101-77, IUP over Humber here at the Hawks' nest. Big season for Humber. A lot of returning players, the hosts of the CCAA National Champion Championship, that is. Big opportunity for these Hawks to put themselves up in the record books of Banderville. Fauzi Muhammad's gonna check into the game there for Jalen Samuel. Or sorry, Jalen Morgan, that is. Bounce pass on the inside. That spin move will work for Dylan Benton. Fauzi on the perimeter. He'll put one up. Once again, no rim luck for these Humber Hawks as Fauzi sees that one pop straight up. Defense is too strong, Adam. That's exactly it. I mean, Humber's really been kind of limited to these perimeter shots. Haven't been able to work inside like the Crimson Hawks have been doing all night long. Kicking it way outside here. That mid-range mid jumper won't go. But two Crimson Hawks up there on the rebound. It looks as though it was Chucky Humphreys who got a hold of that one. Turnover there from Fauzi. Morris going up. Thought about the dunk, but a finger roll instead. They still count as two. Smail out to Salmon. Bailey now with it. Going to try to work his way in. And for one of the rare times tonight, that'll work as right up the gut for a layup is Noel Bailey. Morris showing off the handles, takes some contact from Fauzi. The Crimson Hawks are very good at this uh, stop and start play of moving at full speed and then pulling back immediately and then shooting. Yeah, the hesitation has really been key for them tonight. We kind of see him sit back, and you know, you see Morris here, shake his head, point here, point there. And as soon as they see that opening, they're coming in with a head of steam. A lot of change of direction, a lot of timing from these Crimson Hawks. Nice pass inside there. The ball movement been strong all night long. Nice little spin. Absolutely, just a salmon there. And that's a not a pretty looking turnover, and neither is that. <laughs> to be honest, so some dueling turnovers there, and the basketball will go back the way of the Hawks.
Here's Wilson working his way in. That finger roll will hit off the side of the backboard. And Morris will casually walk it the other way. Looking for help. All his teammates sitting on the perimeter. Foster again with it. He's cooled off a little bit in these past few minutes, and why not? Through three bodies. Get him right back on the score sheet, Foster. He continues his dominance. Even in an exhibition matchup, a very, very impressive performance coming here from Armani Foster. Fauzi clangs out that three. He hasn't found its range yet tonight. And it looks as though the Crimson Hawks will dribble this one out. As the last few seconds tick away here, a 109-80 victory for the Indiana University of Pennsylvania Hawks. Head coach Joe Lombardi with a big smile on his face. His boys came in here and got it done against one of collegiately Canada's best basketball schools. Yeah, uh, Adam, I don't think that Humber did anything necessarily unsafe. They just simply couldn't break through the defense of uh, Crimson Hawks. Yeah, definitely a competitive, entertaining matchup. Just Humber really wasn't able to stay pace with that firepower coming the way from the Crimson Hawks. So the Battle of the Hawks inside the nest will go the way of the Crimson Hawks. My name's Adam Lusher for my broadcasting partner, Brendan Nichols. We're signing off. Thanks for tuning in to HSN. We'll see you later.